Hey guys, I know it's been a while since we put out a video here on Customer States What. So this is for everybody. If you own a vehicle and uh, you want the best possible gas mileage that you could get, well, I'm letting you guys know right now. This right here is the key. This right here is a tire pressure gauge. It measures tire pressure, hence the name, tire pressure gauge. See that? You have options. You could read KPA or PSI, whichever. I highly recommend everybody keep one of these in the car. Why? Well, proper tire pressure, which you could look inside your door jam on the driver's door, there should be a little sticker there that says what the vehicle should have set to. So now with that being said, you want to check your tire pressures every two weeks. Even more so in the winter time, guys, because of the cold temperatures, the oxygen molecules, they'll fluctuate. So, like when you start your car, you may even have a tire light on, but say you do about 15, 20 minutes of driving, the tires start to warm up, and you know what? That tire light might go out. So what we're going to do is we have, we have three tires here. Well, three and a little extra. And what we're going to do is we're going to go through the telltale signs of low pressure. We have damn near a brand new tire here. 60-70% uh, tire here. And then we have one that's been worn down to pretty much that. So, you know what comes next, guys. Let's take these tires up top. Alright guys, here we have a Continental tire. It's a Pro Contact LX. This came off a 2021. Customer said they had their tire light on and they kept on just topping it off and whatnot. So then they eventually came to the dealership because the tire light would stay on. Well, they nursed this tire leak for way too long for a number of reasons. I'll show you here. You see this tire? You see that little line right there? Well, that's a telltale sign of low pressure. Let's look at the other side. Oh, yeah, you can see it even better. You see that line right there? That's the telltale sign of low pressure. Now, now, if you let the tire go for a while, that line will get wider and you'll see some more damage because what happens is the weight of the vehicle is getting localized right there. So, what happens to the tread? Well, if it wears on low pressure long enough, the inside and outside tread will wear unevenly. It'll wear faster than the inside edge. Now, now, if you have your tires overpressured, well, what's going to happen? The inside edge, the inside of the tread is going to wear faster than the outside tread. Now for the inside of the tire. Let's get the light on, guys. See, remember that line on the sidewall? Well, that's the line on the inside of the tire. That's what happens. It compromises the inside of the tire here, and then it starts to reflect on the outside. So that's tire one. Let's get to tire two. So you guys might be asking yourselves, what caused this tire light on tire one? What caused this besides the customer ignoring their tire light? Well, ooh what's that? That's our friend, the nail. It's in a repairable spot. It's in a very repairable spot. Now, if the customer came in when their tire light first came on, this tire would have been repairable. But, since the sidewall is compromised, we had to replace it. Very good. Well, all right, guys, here's tire two. It is a Pirelli Centaro P7. And as you can see, this line here, let's turn the light off. Look at that, you could barely see the P7 there and it goes throughout the whole circumference of the tire on the sidewall. So let's go to the inside tire and see how compromised it is. Oh yeah, you betcha. You could see. You could see. Oh, oh, it really started to chew up there. And uh, what happens is on the inside tire, well, we got rubber freaking confetti. That's how long this tire has ran low. There's a pile of rubber here. Let's go to tire one. There's a little pile there. So this tire here, you can tell based off the width of this here and how much rubber is in there, that this tire was ran low 
much longer than that one. Do you know what comes next? Let's get to tire three. All right, guys, here's tire three. We got a, a Continental. What is it? Continental is there. Oh, Extreme Contact DSW06. So this is a very good tire. It's a performance tire considering that there are more above it, but there's a lot more below it. So, uh, yeah, the elephant in the room, guys, we're, we're missing a whole freaking sidewall. This tire here was nursed on a low tire light for a very long time. Why, you might ask? Well, here's the freaking bead. This car got towed in. And uh, it got towed in with a flat that was stuck to the rim because the bead was still on the rim. And this is what happens when you run the tire way too long. Remember this ridge right here? Remember the line? You got tire one, not so bad. Tire two, a little worse. There should be a tire three in between, but we went right for the full Gugats, and you never go full Gugats. That wear line on the sidewall, well, this is what happens, ladies and gentlemen. If you don't check your tire pressures or if you ignore that tire light, that's what happens. And you can see on this side, the sidewall on the inside is compromised. So what can you get from this video, guys, and what I'm trying to get to you? This little thing is so important. Check your tire pressures every two weeks. Winter time, you, maybe once a week. Uh, if, if you have a place that offers the, the hydrogen fill, or excuse me, not hydrogen. Don't fill your tires with hydrogen. If you find a place that fills tires with nitrogen, the nitrogen molecules, they'll fluctuate a little less than oxygen, and you won't really have a tire light. Also, those spots with the nitrogen, it's lifetime top-off on your tires. So if you ever get a tire light, you can go in there and get some free top-off. But if you do have a tire light and you got nitrogen, I highly recommend diagnose the leak. You may have a nail somewhere. You may not. But until then, guys, if you don't know what to do yet, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification for further content.